Hey guys, back with another COL video today and as you've seen in the title, this is going to be a transmog guide. A lot of people ask me what is transmog, how does it work, how can I transmog my items and look pretty or whatever. And so what's, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through everything, explain how it works so you guys understand and I'm going to do a little experiment for you guys so let's do it. Let's do this. So first of all, you can click on your bestiary, no, it's, they changed it, it's R, archive, arch, I don't know how to say it, but let's go. There you see the guild hunt, mount standards, and then you have the transmog right here, okay? So, there will be some special sets, probably every update they will add a special set here. Now how to get that special set? There's two ways to do that, you can either buy it in the, uh, you can either buy it from uh, people in outfits right here. All right, this is like a, this is like the special anniversary sets. All right, so uh, but then we'll get to the other ones. Once you do that, you want to collect this leather cloth silk. You can. There's two ways to do that. Again, you can either go to the item all and pay to win these boxes, which will contain silk and so on, or you can grind them and farm them like I am doing right now. So how you do that? So what I am trying to do is I'm trying to transmog my chest plate okay you get you get and you can transmog all the way to uh, the legendary chest plate but what you need is you need to have the piece of gear you want to transmog into so you need to have a legendary chest plate to be able to transmog into and then you guys are asking probably why would you want to transmog if you already have the legendary chest plate you wouldn't have to transmog into anything that is true if you want to look legendary you don't have to do that but if you're in my shoes, all right, let's show you, my, it'll show you guys, okay, the shoes I am in right now. Now, look at me. I look pink and purple. I don't want to look pink and purple. This is a craft of legendary. So what I want to look like, all right, I want to either have this look right here, all right, or I want to have this look right here. One or the other, okay? I want to. I don't want to look the pink purple. I want to look different, but I want to use still use my legendary, which I crafted. So this solves a lot for me so how do I do that all right so as you can see here these are locked I can't I can't get this chest I can't get this chest okay I can't get these chests I, it's still locked still locked how do I unlock it so you have to start at your first set so nature set for warrior probably a different name for all the other classes but start at the first set and focus on the piece you want to unlock first what I want to unlock is my chest plate all right so first I unlocked my chest right here the basic first set after that, I could start unlocking my second second chest on the second of the list. Then I could do it on my th on the third of the list, and then I'm now I'm trying to get the banshee armor. Once I do that, I can move to the fury flame chest. Then I ch then I finally get to the chosen set and the unwavering set. All right. So let me and I will show you guys how to get those crafted items too. So let me give you guys an example right now. All right. So. Right now, I have saved. Where is this? These are my materials, alright? I have 90 of cloth, I have 62 leather, 8 silk, 15 cotton. So, what I also want to do is I also want to get legs, right? And so, I want to get legs. So, let's get legs, alright? So, first thing we want to do is we go to the first one because our legs down here, they're locked. They're locked until we unlock these legs. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this. First you need is leather. How do you get leather? You kill crocodiles and ravage bull. And how do you do that is, let me show you guys, all right? You go to where they spawn. Now where do they spawn? I think they should be, so crocodiles are around this area right here. I think here, and uh, bulls are here. All right, let's go to the bulls, all right? Let me show you guys. There is many areas you can get this done, get your leather, so you can go either here, no, no, no not here, this way. So there should be uh, crocodiles right in the water over here, and the bull spawn, uh, I think the bull spawn over here, surge wind wilds, near the boss. So you can either choose to go either way. Now, what you guys don't have to do, you don't have to farm these. You probably know this already, but let me just remind you guys, all right? You don't have to farm these crocodiles by like hitting spells. What you can do is you can just auto battle, click on a small screen, start automatic battle, 
get away from those things, okay? We don't need those. You can start automatic battle, alright? And it will kill the crocodiles for you and it will give you the materials you need. Now, here's the important thing. Every mob, like crocodiles or bulls or whatever, they have a cap every day of how many materials you can get from them. I think it's like 25 materials. So once you get 10, 25 materials from these crocodiles, you want to go to the red veg bull, get your materials there. Alright, let's say we've done that. Fast forward, we have the leather. Now it says get the look in your bag. So we have to get this basic basic breaches in our bags. How do you do that? Very simple. You click on how to obtain transmog merchant. It will take you to the transmog merchant, which is in Ariel Island. So let's go to Ariel Island. And uh, it should be over here. Let's go shortcut. All right. Where are you? Trading Transmog Merchant. Purchase equipment here you see. Alright, we want basic breaches right there. Alright. So now we have unlocked the basic breaches like this. Alright. Now what we can do is we can transmog this and we'll consume a leather. We're not gonna do that yet because I don't want to spend extra leather. And it will change our look into that. Alright? We will still be wearing our legendary pants like these, but we will look like he's looking right now in this screen, all right? But we're not gonna spend the extra leather. And then we can go to Revit set. Now it says, as you can see, it doesn't say like, as you see here, here it says locked. Right now, you see this? Our ancestral set, it says locked. You go to Revit set. It says, get this look in your bag. We have the leather. We just need to meet the other uh, requirements. So what we're gonna do is we get these legs, bam. All right, now we have these legs. Now, what we can do is we can unlock the- wait, didn't we get the- Did I jump over one? I think I jumped over one. Hmm. What did I do? Oh, I got this one. I'm supposed to get this right here. Bam. Alright, so we're gonna get- unlock this. Now we unlock- you can transmog it if you want for one leather. We're not gonna do that. And then, you have as you can see- remember this was locked earlier? Now this is unlocked. Now you can get this. What I need to do is get leather. So I used up my leather, as you can see. I used up my leather, I already got my chest plate. I can look like this if I want. Okay, let's try. For the video, I will do this, all right? Consume one leather and one cloth, sure. Okay. And so now, as you can see, the transmog, I'm wearing it right now, all right? I'm wearing the chest, but if you look at my equipment, I'm actually wearing the legendary, which looks pink. But because I have equipped it here, Cancel transmog and I'm back to normal. Does it cost every time? Let me see. Yeah, it costs every time. So you don't want to keep spamming this. But as you can see here, next I will unlock my legs. Right now I'm worrying about unlocking my chest piece right here. I have the uh, cloth. I don't have the silk. I just lost all my leather. But I can just farm it again and then get the look in the back. Banshee armor. Where do you get Banshee armor, guys? Okay. Many ways to get Banshee armor. You can run normal raids. All right. Whatever class you have, you can run level 30 raids or you can buy it from here. Metal store, Banshee, Armor, BAM. You can buy it from 3 metals right there. Then we go to the next set. Fury Flame set. Where do you get Fury Flame? You run Heroics, you run Roma Raids. Or you can again buy it from here. And then we go to the next one. Where do you get Chosen set? Alright. Where do you get Chosen set? You go here. You go Coliseum store. Wait. It's just the same Chosen Destined Armor, right? Yeah, you go here, you go to Colosseum shop, and you can buy it there. Now, let's keep going. Where do you get the unveiling set? You know, this is the divine set. And then legendary, you obviously get by doing legendary. Now, I d it's lightning rage. I don't know if you can do, if you can transmog like other items. I think they have to be legendary. And I don't know if you can like, like let's look at this, okay? Lightning rage axe. There's no axe here. There's no axe here. So I think once you've done the Fury Flame Axe, you can go straight up to the Legendary Axe. So you just have to unlock the previous tier of the exact gear you want to do. So if I were you guys, guys, and you want to transmog, I, as, just, as I said, I want the chest done and pants done because I don't want to look pink, alright? It's crafted, what I have is crafted legendaries right here. Crafted legendaries, so they're ugly, they don't look that nice, so I want to change them. And it's only for those who want to look different, alright? You can go with a full newbie look. Like you can go full like this, look at this. You can go full this, this look, and you can be full legend gear underneath. They won't know. You look like the biggest noob, but you'll be rocking full the legend legendary set. All right, so 
Guys, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't. If it was helpful or any questions, ask me below, guys, and I will answer them. And again, guys, thanks so much for watching.